mean, not like a dummy, super long. Dummy long. Not. Uh, all right. Because they, they they're they're waiting for two sets after this, which is like maybe like 30, 30 minutes probably. And getting into this, it's really just can Luigi make T three dome interact, or it could. Um, T3 just wall out Luigi, yeah. yeah. T3 just like not interacting with Luigi at all. That because that's the real game plan. The past few times that they played, like at a time to thaw, actually, T3 Dome was so good at just walling out and making Luigi not interact with them that he was just able to take a 3-0. Right. And conversely, at the most recent uh, time they interacted at Chronicles, you know, you know, Elegant was able to kind of like keep T3 in disadvantage and just not let him play his like game that he wanted to play. He was able to get in, get his damage, and it was Elegant's uh, win at the last time they played 3-0. Yep. So I'm very curious on how both these players, like, because both these players already played each other so many times that they know each other's tricks. But I really am curious to see how Elegant figured out how to get like in the cracks of uh, T3 Dumb's walls. And again, just jumping over the fireball, you know, Elegant struggling to find his way in, barely avoids the axe, and yet again, not going to be able to confirm anything else off of it. Oh, it's just so hard for Luigi to get, like, off the ledge. He, yeah. You saw them use the downbeat to try to get off, but, you know, it got beaten out. Yep. And Elegant, losing the first stock of the game, getting an axe to the face. Yeah, yeah, no, no punish, uncharacteristic for Elegant right there. It's it's really weird because he's like, he's playing very nervous right now. T3 Dome is uh, somebody that you cannot sleep in, like sleep on at all, even if you are a PGR player. Now, do you think now they're going to release the PGR sometime within like the next week? Like they they already uh, revealed their release schedule. Do you think Elegant will be on the PGR? Elgin will be on the PGR, in my opinion, because uh, there's some regionals that are actually still worth PGR points, even though like it may not seem to. Like a lot of people actually going around talking about uh, these past few SoCal, uh, these past few SoCal regionals felt like they're just like, oh yeah, they're just huge locals. Right. But definitely not, because in my opinion, Elgin will still be on there. Maybe not as high, just because of uh, a few of the wins. Right. But you know, he he will be there. So how high do you think he'll be on the, the PGR? Like, I'm I'm predicting like somewhere between like 35 and 40. I think 40 to 45. It's it sounds a little low, but like there's some there's some whack players that just got just got a that knew the Luigi matchup. Uh, but getting back into this, so I feel like low. I feel like. Elegant's gonna be on uh, PGR. I feel like Nico's definitely gonna be on PGR. Nico's gonna be on PGR. Void's gonna be on PGR. Do you think Void is gonna be on PGR? I feel like Void, Void has been doing historically worse than Fantastic Army. Border coming out. But yeah, Void, Void has been doing historically worse. But it's it's Void. He has you know the clout. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess like he he's definitely not doing bad. It's just not like the Void levels of play. Not not the it. not the Smash Four level. Like I yeah. still remember back in. Uh, Smash 4, it was... Uh, like, Void was top 10. Void, Void was top 10, and then he kind of, like, yeah. slowly, like, got crept out, and then when Zero retired and stuff like that, everybody's like, oh, look at Void again. He's uh, messing everything up again, you know? Right. In the while, just boxing him out, utilizing the, the $2 slices of pizza and uh, the toilet plunger. Right. I just love Luigi. He's, like, so goofy. Yeah, Luigi's one of those characters where, like... You're wondering, like, how did this become, like, top tier? Or not even, like, top tier, but, like, solid high tier. But, ooh, catches oh, the that... normal getup with the down smash. Yeah, just really... Uh, as you can see in the back, Inland Empire just celebrating. <laughs> They're all just goofballs. Oh my I have God. to drive all of them home. I have to drive Elegant, Roxares, Spanky, and Scizor, and Lamp, and myself. <laughs> So that is one full car that you have right there. Yeah, it's like a clown car. Oh, it's at but least, hey, at it's least, at, it's at at least you get hella gas money on, off of that. I hope so. I, I at least hope so. Ugh. Hopefully they don't use their, like, oh, I'm a TPP top player. Uh, do this for me. But getting into this game number two, going into Kalos Pokemon League, this is very, very strange because this is such a huge map that, you know, 
T3 could run away in. I mean, I know it's definitely a comfort pick for Elegant. Like, Elegant loves this stage. So, yet again, I'm not, I'm not surprised to see the stage. I'm trying to go for the jab, jab, grab, but T3 Dome getting out of harm's way. Yet again, T3 just setting up this really impressive wall. This seems so hard now. Like, that was such an explosive start from Elegant, but all these forward tilts, all these forward airs, and especially all these items do so much damage. You can't hold, be, be holding those shields, too, for too long just because it's going to break. Yet again, and you know T3 was looking for that setup because if Elegant had held shield right there, that forward smash would have broken his it. Oh, but fantastic, just going for the down, and that should be it for Richter, yep. just knowing where Richter was going to be. And yet again, this wall of back airs right here, just making it super hard for Luigi to get in. Ooh, Elgin just very methodically dancing around all these projectiles. Fire comes out, and Luigi's back at the ledge, but manages to get up, and now it's back to neutral. Ooh, misses the turnaround, but it's all right. He's still alive. Oh, barely manages to avoid the axe, but you know what? Because of the air dodge wasn't able to get a super hard punish off of it. Ooh, just rolling into the F tilt, but at this point of the game, he's just like, oh, I don't care. I'm not dying. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not dying. Just like keep hitting me, I guess. And once yeah. I get in there, you're you're gonna get destroyed. Yeah. Oh, but in putting the forward smash accidentally and air dodging. T3 Dome finally ending that stock, but playing that invincibility uh, very, very nicely for T3 Dome, just very much avoiding it, staying in shield. All right. And you know what? Just keeping Elegant on his toes, and you know, Elegant is not able to get a single edge in wise in terms of like how he wants to approach. T3 is just like, you know what? Every move you take, I'm just going to beat you even harder. PGR is a top 50 or top 100, I forgot. Uh, top 50. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm always used to the uh, MIOM top 100, that's right. why. <laughs> there, that release schedule is going to be at around the same time, too. So. Oh, wow, just going in on this poor Luigi just because it's so hard for him to try to get in. Do you think T3 Dome would make it into uh, PGR? No. Not a chance in hell. Not even top, not even number 50. Not even number 50. T3 Dome isn't even top 10 in our region. Let's put it like that. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, the PRs are weird. You've, see, you've seen some people be like, oh, yeah, I'm number six in this subregion. And then you see them in, like, the real subregion, and they're, like, number two, you know, for, like, some awkward reason. <laughs> I mean, yet again, I feel like that just depends on, like, I feel like that's a Florida thing, where, like, Florida's, like, you got to imagine, like, Florida's huge. So... Yet again, and it just depends on like what tournaments do they count. Because there, there are some tournaments where like, yeah, you know, I may be like number six in this region because you know these people play me all the time. But when I travel like oh. slightly outside of it, you know, I'm not fighting those people. What and was that? He just fell out of like three of his moves. Elliot just fell out of like Nair, up B, and like missed like four punch, like two punishes. But fantastic for him on ending that stock. And yet again, the down B just to cover the landing, and you know, T3 finally finding the kill, but. You know what? It is an even game at this point, and Elegant is just going at the really struggle to find his way to get the victory. Exactly. Elegant just trying to push in with his advantage. Just get in there, you know? Just falling down fantastic air dodge to just break his disadvantage. And we're back in neutral. Right. Tech chase? Nah, no, yeah, there's barely the misses it, yeah. I really like how a, uh, a spinning, like, if you could spin around in a circle, if, you know, people throw things at you, you just deflect them. Yeah. I mean, that's the really awkward thing about uh, Richter's Axe is that you can actually hit it with, like, a hitbox, and it'll, like, it'll clink. Like, I've seen Donkey Kong use up air to kind of clink with an axe. <laughs> just imagine somebody threw an axe at you, and you just, like, hit it with your fist, and then you, you know, you, know, you use no. a, you, a, you survive, and B, you don't get hurt. Right. I mean, that's pretty much what... Uh, Wow, that's such a nice setup. Falling weak Nair in the back air. Right. Backwards aerial. I mean, you saw that in uh, T versus T3 Dome, where 
every time T was off stage and like there was an axe coming his way as DK, he would just up air it and be like, tink, and the, the axe would hit it and be like, well, shoot, I'm all out of energy. I, I, I just got hit by DK Noggin. And it just like kind of like fell like to the ground very pitifully. And you just you just look at it and it's so stupid. All right, getting into this game number three, now in Smashville, a lot smaller of a stage. I would I would have thought that this would be a lot better of a stage for Luigi, but I actually am reconsidering saying that like, you know, maybe T3 Dome wants this because he's able to um, survive a lot longer. Right. Well, like, just to like get back to a ledge, just like that. Yeah, speaking of which, I uh, I noticed that Elgant uses the default controls. Uh, are you a smash stick type of guy, or are you a uh, tilt stick type of guy? I'm a tilt stick, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. uh, T3 Dome is actually a tilt stick type of guy, too, because, you know, it's Richter. Right. And uh, actually, me, myself, I am a smash stick type of guy. Right. I mean, it depends. Like, do you have good tilts? And I feel like with Luigi, like, what tilts are you going to use with Luigi? Are you, You're not using up tilt. You're not using... Forward tilt or down tilt, really? But they're funny though. I've seen I've seen uh, Elgin beat it like three stock somebody, and like for like their last stock, you try to kill them with uh, with up tilt at uh, three hundred percent. And like on the same like opinion, like I think in like forward tilt for the pits, like you're not really utilizing their other tilts all that often. Yep. Maybe maybe down tilt for like poking. Yep. But that that. But enough about the pits and more about the Luigi's because that was a fantastic just down B right there just to catch him off. And now, Elegant in the lead. Right. And yet again, you know, T3, you can always say, like, just find the kill, but, like, it is super hard to find it when, it, like, your opponent is just like, I'm not going to give it to you. And oh. armoring through all that with the the grab throw armor. Yeah, that, that grab throw armor and grab throw invincibility, so, so good on just getting a lot more damage for, like, you know, other projectiles. But, you know, uh, T3 Dome scouting out that uh, jump from the ledge. Right. And it's one of those things where, like, if you're playing Richter, like, you are struggling to find a kill unless you get that sweet spot of... No forward aerial, backward aerial, or forward tail. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like you can get hit by the chain all you want, but the chain's not going to kill you. It's the the ball at the end, it's the morning star ish yeah. type of thing. Which like makes sense, you know. Oh, oh it just the... goes in there and says downer. Yep, do it. And that's what I was telling you about. Like you know, if you want to edge guard Richter, just throw a hitbox in between him and the ledge, and like. It's either going to hit him or, like, it's going to force him to, like, up B instead. Oh, and here's the pain train coming out. 69% and trying to go for the edge guard, but unfortunately he drops it a little bit. T3 Dome gets back to the ledge, accidentally missing, like, uh, throwing out his uh, side B even though he doesn't have it. All right. Oh, oh Elegant doesn't have a double jump. Yeah. Yeah, and this is actually going to be very, very close now for this uh, game number three just because... He threw that suck away very, very early. And you're going to be seeing Elegant being a little bit more impatient because he's like, I got oh cheated Oh my god, that. he read the air dodge too, yep, but, but you know what? The tech gave him a little bit of extra invincibility and he manages to avoid that forward slash. That forward yep. slash, it's super strong, but it's very laggy on startup. And the only way you're hitting it is if you get a, a, a re-grab on ledge or you get it off of a downbeat confirm. Yeah, exactly. It's so, so, like, situational because that o that always needs to type of setup or else, like, you know, making super hard reads, like, might as well just play Gamdorf, you know? Yeah. All right, game number four. I'll get up 2-1. All right, here we go. Yet again, both players are just like trying to set up their wall. Like, or I guess Richter's trying to step in his wall, and you no, know, Luigi's trying to zone him out with the Zare and trying to get, go for the grab. Oh my goodness, just T3 Dome playing a lot more aggressive now, just running in with the four tilts rather than, you know, sitting back and putting up a bunch of projectiles like he usually does. Yeah, this is the most aerials that I've actually seen. I've like he's thrown out a lot more arrows in past games. I think this is uh this is him just trying to adapt, and now it's Elgin's turn to see if he could have an answer for this. All right. And again, it's one of those things where like 
you're not really going to be using your projectiles in neutral as Richter in this matchup, just because like the fireballs kind of clink with it. So it's all about how well can you utilize your forward air and your forward tail to kind of space out Luigi. And right now, showing that it's really like he's really really good at spacing out Luigi, just because he doesn't have Luigi doesn't have any range. You know, that's a, that's a big problem. He doesn't have any range, and on top of that, all, a lot of this stuff is kind of just safe because of it. Fantastic just crosses him up and barely shield pokes his uh, small little head, small little anime head. And again, here we go. Uh, Up out of shield, not going to be enough to take the stock. Wow, I really like how T3 Dome is really scouting out for the uh, the jump from ledges because he's kind of playing a little bit of misdirection, throwing out something down there uh, on the ledge to see like, oh yeah, this is covering um, you know the regular get up options. I'm going to be covering the uh, the air with these uh, forward airs that could potentially kill. Right. Ooh, try getting the landing with the down smash because it's a little bit faster, but you know what, not enough range on it to actually matter. Oh, but Fantastic is going with the forward air and that misfire is saving him again by hitting him with the weak spot of forward tilt. It doesn't matter because he was at like, you know, 200 basically, you yeah. know. Yeah. Forward air, bread and butter, and this is very bad for Luigi. He's just trying to get off the ledge, get himself back into advantage, but staying at the ledge, unfortunately, due to T3 Dome being all like, hey, yo, uh, you want to you wanna check out my water real fast? You want to... Like I got, I got fire too. Let me show you how hot it is. Oh my god! Yeah, exactly, it's blue fire. It's a Azula from a uh, fire. From fire emblem. Uh, no. Did you say fire emblem? Yeah, yeah. Azula from fire, fire emblem. emblem. That's that's the new uh, red unit. Oh my actually. god! Uh, I can't wait for Sokka to come out though. He's gonna oh be he's gonna be the uh, colorless unit. Oh my god! But can you imagine Aang? Like that character is just gonna break the game right there. Yeah, exactly. He could switch colors. Oh my god! But getting he back. Just, could you imagine like actual like Fire Emblem heroes, like they're able to like switch weapons and switch colors? Like, you know how busted that would be? Hey, what if it goes on like a timer or like yeah, he yeah. Going on for timer. Speak like speaking of timer, yeah, we have a lot of characters in this game go off of timers. Like, you know, Cloud, we got Arsene and stuff like that. Right. We got we got the sh we got the new uh, fighter character, uh, uh Aang. Aang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Aang, Aang from from uh, Fatal Fury. <laughs> oh, but Fantastic just utilizing the Toilet Plunger to get that little bit of range. And getting Shield built for his troubles. This is looking really rough, but you know, this one grab, it starts it. Yep. And there's the Uppy. Wow, that kills. Oh. Dude, this is, dude, he was just behind super, super hard, but now. Now it's, it's even. Definitely, it's it's definitely even. doable. Ooh, no, grab. One. You he was up two stocks, and now it's even. And he, oh no, he, he missed his turnaround. It's so scary. He dies. Oh, oh, he, he's dead. Oh, he, he's dead. No, no, no. Wait, hold up. No, he's dead. No, no, he, he missed. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. He's still, he's still. Oh, the parry, dude. He's got. He's in his head. He's in his head. Oh my god. Oh no. No, no, no. not yet. Ninety-five. T three. Don't let this. Oh my god. This is slipping through his fingers. He's at hundred and five. Yeah, but now T3, after all that stuff happened, oh, oh, just goes up and grabs him. He, yeah. he saved that for that specific time because he didn't throw out that option at all until then. So he's just waiting like, all right, just wait, just wait, just wait. Yeah. I'll get you. I'll get was just like, dang, I had that game. He was at zero and I had that game, but I messed up my input and he lived. Oh. He should not be alive at this point. Yeah, that's the that's a very kind of like sad thing about it but you know what good on t3 dome to barely survive that and to be like to use like the option that he didn't use he these are top players they know all of their tricks and things that you know mid-level players just spam a lot but getting back into this t3 dome versus elegant utilizing the platforms a little bit much making it a lot more hard for t3 dome to kind of like you know Say at the center stage because Luigi now has two ways to get in through the platform and in the air, or you know just straight on the ground. Right. But at the same time, uh, T3 Dome able to up be out of shield onto the top platform, and that's going to be a 100% safe right there. Again, missing the tech chase, but gets back on safe. Uh, got back on stage safely. And yet again, the up the uh, no catch the cross up from shield. That's so good because he utilized the fireball to kind of make the, oh, just snipes him out right there too. Yeah. 
You know, I feel like that's one of those things where, like, it's so specific where up tilt, like, actually, like, leads into anything else. And, you know, Elegant just wasn't expecting that. Oh, and getting hit by that cross a little bit more. Uh, T3 Dome, very good. Up being out of shield, getting so much mileage off of that move because, again, Elegant's the one that needs to approach. Elegant's the one that needs to, you know, interact. All right. Fantastic air dodge to wait out the flame. And yet again, Elegant just running into all these projectiles and, like, kind of like, what's the answer? What do you do? Oh, fantastic roll in there to be out the F-Till, and this could be it. No, not yet. Oh, there's the air dodge, and I love what he did right there. He threw out, knowing that he would air dodge into the stage, and threw out another uh, Holy Fire, but you know what? Doesn't get the kill, but finally manages to find it with the forward tilt right there, at perfectly spaced for the sweet spot. A fantastic dunk right there. Uh, T3 Dome up two sucks to one, but you can't count Luigi out at all. And again, coming in with that... Uh, up B out of shield on the top platform. Very, very, a very, very safe option. Oh, is there DSR in SoCal? Uh, no, there is not. Oh, okay. Pretty sure you just banned Kalos then. Yeah. Oh. oh, just barely missed time that. Right. Because that holy water is kind of like, you know, it's the an gyro. Active hitbox, it's it's yeah. an active hitbox. It's kind of like, oh, hey, can you, can you stop holding my man or planet right now? Right. But at the same time, like, when it hits something like that, it also uh, hurts both players, too. Mm -hmm. But just barely misses the, uh, the strong shoyu, because that actually could have been the stock, because that was off the top platform. But it's fine. He's still in this. I mean, all he needs to do is, you know, kill him, and then just grab yeah. him at zero. All he has to do is just kill him, and then kill him again. Yeah, <laughs> kill him and kill him again. That, 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 that's all he needs to do. Oh, the spacing from the uh, board air. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, right in between the legs. No, T3 really grabbed him right there and be like, you are gone. Delete. Yeah, exactly. Elgin, we're gonna be, we are going to be seeing him in.